Mobs. 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode here on Mindful. How are you guys doing today? I know I'm doing uh, pretty good. I am just on my way over to a new build site, actually, that uh, I kind of cleared out and placed a beacon down the other day. And uh, this is going to be a new area for our upcoming project in today's episode. As you probably already saw on the thumbnail, we are going to be building a mob farm. I know I said a episode or two ago that I'm not really interested in doing uh, a base, but uh, I think I've changed my mind on that. I, uh, I want to do something where I can have a storage room and uh, put some farms and such. And so I think today we're going to begin uh, working on the first farm of the area, which will be a mob farm. Now, this isn't your traditional mob farm. No, no, no. This is going to be a special mob farm that only spawns spider, uh, sorry, skeletons, zombies, and creepers. Now, because we don't want spiders to spawn, we have to place uh, glass or just any sort of block, really, in special areas. So, uh, along with the trap doors as well. So, the trap doors kind of go on the edges like this, and then two blocks over, a trap door, two blocks these two trap doors, and then you just sort of uh, in between here where the two blocks are, you place a piece of glass, same with this, two blocks, glass, two blocks, glass, and then you just line them up, uh, and then you place a block right there. So the way that each layer sort of works is uh, by flushing the mobs off, and so for example, we'd have a, a bucket of water inside that dispenser there, and the water pushes the mobs off to the edges, and then there's a collection chamber uh, down at the bottom. And so you can see how sort of every layer goes together. And we're actually building nine layers up into the sky. So from here, uh, I have to... Actually, you know what? Did I leave a block of dirt? Yeah, okay, I left it right under the dispenser. So we actually have to go down one block here. And let's see if we can get this to work. Uh, we have to place an observer. Uh, no, not like that. An observer like so. That way, uh, the... There we go, just cover that back up. Uh, so this way, when the water places, you'll actually hear the tick of the observer. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> you'll only hear the tick if there's another dispenser on top of it. So let's try that. There you go, see? Uh, just looking down there, I think we're six layers up, and it's been about 25 minutes already. Oh my goodness, I completely underestimated how much time this uh, whole thing was going to take. It's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward in terms of uh, just generally what I have to do, but it's just repeating exactly what I do for every layer over and over again. Uh, but thank goodness for shulker boxes, I mean, I don't have to carry out every single material that I need on me. It's just kind of there at my convenience. Just open up the box and, uh, yeah, get, keep, keep working. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. That meant to be a dropper. Or a dispenser, sorry. There we go. Oh, my goodness. That looks like something out of a sci-fi film. That is spooky. I mean, once it's all dark, it'll look a little bit... More terrifying, but, uh, oh, I need a sword, not a shovel. <laughs> yeah, we gotta light up the area, uh, down here now, uh, because mobs will actually try to spawn down here, uh, as we're gonna be blocking, uh, the sunlight, as I had mentioned. We're gonna put a big platform over top of the whole thing, so that each spawning pad gets zero light level. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't have very much stone at the, uh, the particular area where we need it. So we're going to head on down to my basement here. I should have some stone, which apparently I don't. Uh-oh. I could have swore I had some. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's already in the chalker boxes in the ender chest. Well, guess I came back here for nothing. All right, so we are slabbed out of our mines. Uh, we just have to place in all of the slabs now. So we're going to place them on the top part of the block, like so. And that way, uh, mobs won't be able to spawn up here. And we're going to sort of double slab it like that in order to put the redstone on top. As the night falls, I'm getting more and more worried that I'm not placing the slabs on the right block. Constantly, like, looking up, making sure that uh, I don't have any mobs spawning. Although I do know it is a half slab. I don't know, I guess I'm just paranoid that something will spawn and shoot me off. Placing in all these blocks now kind of reminds me of the last episode when we were at the Enderman farm placing in all the blocks. And I did that uh, that fun little montage there with the right mouse button clicking and sort of a hand reveal. I know I got, there was a couple comments saying uh, it was a hand reveal and whatnot and yeah, that was a lot of fun. All right, so we got to put in the redstone here and this is all for the timings uh, to make sure that everything works uh, properly. And we also have to make sure it's kind of a, a buffer to uh, to keep the uh, farm from lagging the server too much. It will sort of go in a rotation. So you flick the lever there and it goes sort of like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four sort of thing. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not the greatest at explaining redstone as we go along here. Just kind of looking at it from another image. Well, it sounds to me like it's working. Uh, let's just turn that bad boy off. And uh, unfortunately, we are going to lose the haste 2 effect. There we go. And uh, now that that's gone, actually, all the platforms were going to be unlit. So there has to be torches, and I'm just trying to get a glimpse here. All the platforms do seem to have torches, so we won't have any mobs dropping on our heads. All right, so it's now time to place in all the water, and I think the best way uh, to go about doing this is if we uh, place the water in, and then what we do is we take a redstone torch, and we light it. Okay. And then we go down. Now that top layer will flood. Uh, and we want to make sure that the flood is sort of the default state, so when it's off, it's flooded. And we'll do the same thing here. Uh, water's in. Place that down. Everything looks good. Okay, we'll go down another layer. Go to this layer. Uh, now you'll see all the, the torches and... Oh, yeah, okay, so all the torches and stuff are going to get dismantled down there, but that's alright. Alright, we'll go down again. I think actually one of the most interesting interesting things about this farm is uh, how when I'm going down, the light just sort of really bugs out. It's kind of interesting. A neat little effect. Alright, there we have it. The final one. Everything looks to be in order. We got some mobs down there. And they'll clear out eventually once we put some proper torches and lighting and stuff down there. Uh, let's fly away and see if there's anything we can see that's not working out. Uh, is that a torch that we have sitting here still? Or just generally a lighting bug? I think it looks good to me. Alright, so we're going to have to <laughs> kind of put on our best gear here and take out the mobs down there. Holy smokes, look at them all. Oh, that's not good. I wish the torches had just stayed. <laughs> you know what, let's, let's, let's sleep before we go out and die. 
Uh, I've got a bow here, so we'll we'll take this bow with us. Snipe all the baddies as we go along. That's right, stay back. All right, let's go. Now, the rates may not seem as we're sort of underneath here. They may not seem as though they're the they're working, but I promise you they are working. Uh, it's just because we have to actually be standing above the farm in order for it to properly spawn the monsters. And if we check here in this chest, you'll see, yeah, look at that. We've actually already got items, which is fantastic. Uh, we will set up an AFK platform soon and uh, do a little bit of testing here. I also kind of want to make uh, drop shoots, proper glass drop shoots for these monsters so that um, so that way they don't their items don't fly away from where they are supposed to land. All right, so I decided to hop on here to the camera account just to get a quick look at how the farm was performing. And considering we haven't lit up any caves or anything, just like, 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 look at this. It's fantastic already. It, like, we haven't lit anything up. And I was, I was just take a look underground here. You can tell a lot of the mobs are spawning in this ravine. So we're going to have to go down underground and uh, fix up this ravine. Put some torches all across it. And I uh, see a couple mobs are spawning in these corridors down here. And uh, also over there. But other than that, I think, honestly, I picked one of the best spots to really build this thing as there's nothing underground, except for this ravine, of course. Hey guys, so I just logged on to the server here and uh, Swirl says that he pranked us. And I imagine it's probably at our spawn base right now. Uh, let's go have a look here. He said to record when we got online. Let's have a... Oh, whoa, whoa, what the? Hold on, my sounds are not... Oh, uh, sounds, there we go. What's, uh, what's in here? Oh, oh. What? Poison and what was the other one? I didn't see it. Look at that, he's got traps. Oh my goodness, Swirl, you cheaped out. What the? <laughs> what is in this? I gotta see what's in here. Slowness fo Slowness fo What is that sound? Okay, slowness four, and what was the other one here? Slowness four and resistance three. I hear something else, but where is it? Well, first of all, my door opens on the wrong side. I can tell you that right now. There we go. I'm pretty sure it opened on the right. Yeah, that, there we go. Am I like mishearing something? Oh, oh, whoa. What the? Oh my goodness, Sorrel, you cheeky... Wow. Uh, okay, we got some buckets here. I'm gonna get these puppies out of here. Sub to Swirl! <laughs> oh, hey, don't! There we go, get, get in here! Awesome little thing there. Well, Swirl, uh... All I can say is... It's on. <laughs> And there we have it. The mob farm is now pretty much completely functioning. We've got four 
uh, item elevators, which use the uh, sort of block glitch. Uh, I just had a bunch of items on the ground. Yeah, you can see there's some stuff still sitting there, which means that these glass chambers are quite important and they have to go all the way up to the top, uh, which we'll probably work on in between episodes or in the next episode. And... Uh, get that done hopefully and also the item sorting system that has to also kind of get worked out hopefully we can work on that in the next episode because i'm all out of time for today's episode uh, i really appreciate you guys tuning in today it's uh, a lot of fun hopefully you learned a couple things maybe you want to build this farm for yourself there's actually a link in the video description right now uh, you can check that out nembon's tutorial it's quite awesome so uh, that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I uh, hope you have a great day.